Yo, what's going on everybody? So today I want to make a video about settings. I've been getting a lot of questions while streaming on Twitch about PC settings and what they can do to improve the game. So I figured I'd break down a video and get some ideas and some advice from people who have all different types of PC to make a general overview of what you can do to improve your PC's performance while playing Sea of Thieves. I know under all of the PC settings there is a blurb of what they entail and what part of the computer is being used to process or run that specific aspect, but in this video I just want to give you guys a general overview about what you can do and the settings you can run to make your game just that little bit better. I'm going to disclaim really quick, this is just a general idea of what you can do. I'm not telling you this is exactly how it should be done. All PCs are different and they will have different results. So mess around with what I show you and hopefully you'll find something good. Anyway, if this video helps you in any way, a subscribe, a like and a comment would be greatly appreciated. That would help the channel out tremendously. Thank you guys. So if you load up Sea of Thieves and you find your computer is running like this, it's going to be one of two things. One, you've got some bad settings, or two, your computer is fully a potato. Hopefully it's not the latter. If it is related to settings though, follow what I'm about to tell you and try this, see if it helps. Open up your pause menu, then go down to graphic settings. Under shadow detail, you want to switch that over to common, and with model detail, follow suit and put that on common as well. Shadow detail is very CPU and GPU intensive, while model detail is more so about the speed and response time of the game. Your texture detail is the only one you're really going to want to push as far as you can go because in my opinion that is the most important setting of all of them. I find a lot of people put that up to legendary but it doesn't have to go that high up. You can lower it just a tiny bit. The idea is you want to max out texture detail as much as you can since it is in my opinion the most important. Water detail can be down on cursed. That also has some perks with it as well that I'm not going to get into but you'll find the water is fairly important to your settings. Lighting detail as well has a big effect so I recommend throwing that down to cursed with your particle effects quality on rare and your particle resolution and animation quality on the lowest possible. Your video settings don't matter too much. The thing you want to look at though is the resolution scaling. Lowering that to the minimum will improve the game's performance and make it run a lot smoother. Nevertheless, here's the finished result on a decent computer, I will add. Have a look at that, let me know what you think and tell me if that helps at all. I'll leave that for a bit and we'll move on to middle-end PCs. So middle end PCs. For this one, put your shadow detail onto cursed, your model detail and texture detail up to legendary, your water detail can fall back to rare or go higher if you want it to. Put your lighting detail on rare as well. That'll make the biggest difference in this instance. Then keep your particle effects quality and your particle resolution on cursed. You can alter this in any way you like, although this should be a nice baseline for you to use. The real important part is the video settings. That's going to change a lot. So find a comfortable frame lock. I like 72 frames per second, no matter the type of computer I'm using. I have a fairly decent system and I still lock it on 72 and I find no issues with it. And turn your resolution scaling down or up. The resolution scaling is going to be the key to a smooth and jumpy game. The lower you have the scaling, the better the PC will run, but in return it'll look a lot worse. If you do have a higher resolution scaling, the game will look much better, but it will run a lot slower and a lot more choppy. Mess around with this at your own degree. Find out what works for you. I find a comfortable 150% for me works quite well, but that's going to change depending on system, graphics cards, and whatnot. Alternatively, if none of this has helped though, I could recommend going into the driver settings and updating everything you have. That could make this game run a lot smoother, as outdated drivers can cause a big problem for any game. But with that out of the way, hopefully this video has helped and I've made your game run just that little bit smoother. If you have any specific builds and setups you have, please put them down in the comment section because that may help someone in the future. And with that being said, I'm going to leave the video here. Thank you for hanging out and watching. I appreciate you all and I'll see you really soon. Ciao for now.